Pulp Tester, Electrodontal Diagnostics. The Electrodontal Diagnostics is a method for pulp examination by passing through a fixed increasing by amplitude electrical impulses. The low intensity electrical impulses pass through the interprismal proteins of enamel, through enamel dentate junction, through the dental tubules and which the nerve receptors. By the intensity of the electric current at which the pulp reacts, conclusions are made about its status. The electrodontal diagnostics is applied in identification of the pop vitality as a subsidiary method in identification of differential diagnostics of caries, pulpitis, pop necrosis, in diagnostics of the pop status in trauma damages of the tooth, adjacent surgical interventions and fractures of the maxillary bones, in observation of healing process after trauma and vital pulp therapy. As the examination is based on the subjective patient's reaction, the following rules must be taken into account. The electrodontal diagnostics serves to specify the previously supposed diagnosis. That is why only the dentist in charge of the treatment can implement rightly the test and analyze the result correctly. The patient must be in a calm atmosphere, out of stimulating and calming medicines. As the patient's reactions depend to a great extent to their individual peculiarity, the following sequences of the diagnostics process is recommended. A control measurement of a symmetrical vital tooth or a tooth of the same group is performed firstly to determine the normal reaction of a patient. After that is performed the electrodontal diagnostics for the tooth we are concerned with. The results from investigation are compared with the results of symmetrical intact tooth. The interpretation of the results is conformed to the values described in the user manual. The place where the electrode contacts with the teeth, the so-called sensitive point, is exceptionally important for the correct diagnostics. For the incisors and canines, the sensitive point is in the middle of the cutting edge. For premolars, the vestibular tubercle and for the molars the mesovestibular tubercle. Most frequently the electrodontal diagnostic results are compared with x-ray examination. In this way the visual information about the tooth status is complemented by pop vitality examination. In our case with a woman patient it is necessary to make differential diagnostics between caries profunda and pulpitis chronica ulcerosis or necrosis pulpe. The measured and controlled teeth are cleaned and dried. The device is then turned on. The passive electrode is placed in the patient's right hand. She is instructed to press the button on the first sense of irritation. The tip of the active electrode is sterilized. The dentist measures symmetrical vital tooth to register the current intensity at which the patient reacts normally. The tip for examination is placed upon the tubercle of the examined tooth and is then lightly pressed. The dentist keeps pushing the button located upon the appliance handle. The device begins to generate a series of increasing current impulses for measurement. On the device display are indicated the values of the current intensity passed through the tooth. The patient pushes the button at the first irritation sensation. 
The device stops the transmission of impulses, indicates on the display the value of the past current, which has coasted the limit irritation, and announces the results to the dentist. Examination results give opportunity for diagnosis specification and treatment plan determination.